Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd show you this fowl I have on my table here. Yes, this is one plant. There's the plant. And yes, it does have one, two, three, four, five spikes. And the one spike is actually doubled up here, you can see. Um, it kind of went crazy and uh, gave me a lot of flowers, which I'm happy with, of course, but still. And then I've got this gorgeous big white one here. You can see how massive that flower is. I got this at a local farmer's market for 12 bucks. Um, the older flowers are a little beat up. That's my little orchid stand there. Um, but you can see just how massive that flower is. It's so beautiful. $12 well spent. But I did want to show you guys this one. Beautiful lemon. Get that bug off there. Chew. Uh, lemon flower there. Absolutely love it. It's super, super gorgeous. But anyhow, what I wanted to do here, see if I can get this to focus is give you guys just kind of a quick update on what I've got in bloom, because I know everyone wants to see blooming orchids. So my Pachara Delight is now flowering, which makes me happy. I absolutely love this plant. The flowers are decent size, nice and dark, very, very beautiful. This little guy is a Benz, let's see here, where's the tag? Here it is. This is a Ben Jasmine. And this is from Ben Jong Orchids. Beautiful little flower. I'm starting to lose a few of them though, like this one is done. Um, and that one's on its way and that one's on its way, but these two are still looking really, really good. Those three, I guess I should say. So I do love that one. It blooms quite frequently. This is about the fifth time it's bloomed for me um, since December. So that is kind of fun. Coming along here, these guys are all just kind of hanging tight. I did find on this one here, two spikes that is a Ben's fragrance also from Bing Jong and then this one here Pine Rivers has a bloom spike right there you can see right behind that root so that is going to bloom for me too I absolutely love that one it's, it's got beautiful little pink flowers here very much um, the rank stylus in it has come through and those flowers I absolutely love it this is my Pat's Delight, and its buds are getting nice and puffy, so I'm really excited about that. Can't wait to see this one bloom. It's bloomed only a couple of times for me, but uh, I will take anything that it gives me, and I'm really excited to see that. This is another Ben's fragrance. They're all different because they're seed grown. So here is the spike I found on that one just a couple of days ago. My Robert's Delight times Mimi Palmer is still going strong. The fragrance on this is absolutely amazing. I love it. It only smells in the morning, but it's a beautiful little flower. It's not a massive plant by any means, not a massive flower either, but I do love this one and I'm so glad I was able to find it. I know it has an actual like clonal name, but my tag just says Mimi Palmer times Robert's Delight. So that's what I call it too. Down here, this is a little tiny Neostylus cross and it has one, two, three spikes on it. This has bloomed for me many times before. It's just been quite a few months since I've seen it bloom last. It smells like vanilla ice cream. Love this one. Up here, my Beatron and our Batram and uh, Golden to Bloom never stop blooming. So you can see the Kiki bloom down there. That spike opened up back there and I've got another spike there on that one. So these two are my ever faithful, always blooming, never ending um, orchids that are constantly, I mean these Vandas are always, always, always in bloom. This one was a Father's Day present from my kids. And this is, I turned the tag the other way so that it won't get burnt, uh, burnt out by the sun. Cinderiana times Bits Heartthrob. Beautiful flower there, you can see. And it has two spikes. So you can see we've got a spike there and then this one here. So I'm gonna be able to enjoy that one's blooms much sooner. And then this is another Ben's fragrance. He has a spike back there. I got a lot going on right at the moment, apparently. This guy is still going. Um, this is a beautiful little red one I picked up at Home Depot oh, quite a while back. Absolutely love it, still going. Heavy, heavy, heavy stock. Uh, stock. This is my Vanda Pure's Wax Blue. And again, this is one of my absolute favorites. And you can see just how vellum, like shiny this plant is. Absolutely love it. Good size flower. Second time it's bloomed for me in the four years that I've had it and both times have been down here. So I am certainly grateful to finally see this guy do its thing. Beautiful, beautiful Vanda. This one is one that my neighbor actually bought me and it is, see if I can get that. You can hear the thunder rolling in. Uh, Mimi Palmer times that, whatever that is. <laughs> beautiful 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 little flower and when i say little i mean little it's a tiny little plant but it's just a gorgeous gorgeous plant i love the coloration on it 
This is Denisoniana times Mimi Palmer. This is also from Bengjong. Cute little plant, love the flower. Coming up here, this is all just still kind of doing its thing, which I'm perfectly okay with. Over here, we have a Berea Tessalata times whatever this is, times whatever that is, times dark chocolate. Or the name of it is dark chocolate. And when they say dark chocolate, they are not wrong. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful flower. I don't know if it smells, but it is really, really pretty. It's got four flowers on him. This one is so fun. I love this one. I love the little spurs on the end. You can see there, it only it only ever opens up like this for me. It never flattens out, which I don't know if that's right or wrong. But I do love this one. And it is, let me see if I can see the tag. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that back there. But uh, I can Gordon Dillion times uh, Ask Ascenda something or other. But gorgeous, gorgeous flower. Always gets quite a few flowers for me too. So I love this one. And this guy, oh, he's still opening up. But this one is absolutely stunning. Uh, I don't know where the tag's at, but I know it has one. I just can't find it. <laughs> it's in the moss somewhere. But nonetheless, like I said, he is still opening. So once they're fully open, I always end up losing the last couple of buds on these. I never know why, but the rest of the flowers always seem to open up just fine. But uh, once this fully opens, of course, it's gonna be quite gorgeous. And then over here was the other Father's Day present from my children. And you can see there, Butterfly times uh, Fuchs Fortune. Very dark, 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 dark Vanda. Darker than my um, Robert's Delight Black. And of course, he's got some fat buds. You're never gonna see that dark color coming through. So very excited to see that one bloom. But yeah, that's what's going on with my Vandas. Uh, you can see there, storm is coming. Welcome to Florida. Lots of flowers, almost all of them are purple though, but that's okay. The other thing I wanted to show you here is my yellow spaphoglottis. This thing is constantly in bloom, so gorgeous, absolutely love it. And then over here, my uh, yellow catlay is starting to go. This guy's opened up, super cute. And then this one, oh, I love this one. This one has a really like spicy scented smell. Um, I'm not sure what the hippoderma or something like that, I don't know. This little guy, whose tag is now, where is it? Here it is. Has a sheath, so I'm praying, praying, praying that that gives me some flowers. I would love to see this one bloom. Absolutely gorgeous. And then my fowls are all kind of on their way out, which is fine. Let me get it to focus. Uh, it's time for them to be done. <laughs> this way I can repot them, because literally, all of them need repotted badly. So we're gonna do that here once everything is done and then we'll go from there. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for my quick update. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, of course, comment that down below and I'll answer back. Hope you're having a great day and happy growing.